Welcome, welcome everyone to the web per party. Today we're gonna to do a flash party real quick on how to use an SSL certificate for your local host. A lot of times with these newer JavaScript APIs, they require HTTPS on the domain. What we want to do is have our local host mimic our production environment as well. And so we're gonna do that by creating an SSL certificate using OpenSSL and then we're going to implement the certificate in the browser so that locally we can see a verified SSL certificate. Let's get the party started and dive right in. All right, so you can see we have a fresh install of Nux using the Express template. Project So Young, it's got a whole life ahead of it. Doesn't have misplaced JavaScript files yet or rogue components built. Anyway, so what we're gonna do first is create the SSL certificate using OpenSSL. So I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger for us and I'm gonna paste in this command. Don't worry about trying to memorize this or write this down. I'll leave a link to a blog post in the video description that will give you all the commands and all the code that we're gonna be changing up. So let's go ahead and execute this. You'll see that it creates cert.pem and key.pem. And now that we've done that, let's go ahead and minimize this and we're gonna go in and create a new file in the project and call it server.js. And here we're gonna paste in this code. And again, don't worry too much about memorizing it, but what you'll see here is that we have a couple of different things going on. First, we're um, requiring HTTP and HTTPS. And that's for down here, if you look through lines 13, through 23. If we aren't in production, we're using HTTPS and we're passing in the key and the cert. That's so that we can use the SSL certificate on the local host. If it is production, we actually don't want to use HTTPS at all because in the project that I'm currently working on where we're doing this, we're using something like Apache or Nginx to actually proxy um, to the secure domain. So there's no need to do it on the, the local host when you push it to a production machine. The rest of this file is just everything that Nux needs to configure and get running. So go ahead and save this file. And next let's open up package.json. And right here where it says dev, we're gonna actually gonna change this to be node environment and we're gonna make it equal development so that it knows we're in development. And we'll run node server.js. Now once you save that, let's go ahead and run npm run dev. We'll watch it compile. And now let's open up a browser and we'll go to localhost 3000. You see nothing on HTTP. So if we run HTTPS, we get a not secure connection. I don't understand. Why wouldn't he just edit out the error? Don't worry, we got this. You wanna go into the settings here and you'll look for SSL and down here you'll see manage certificates. It's gonna open up our keychain access here. This is for Mac OS, but there will be a link in the description of the video and also in the blog post that will also give directions for how to do this on Windows. Now we're gonna open up the finder and the certificate we're gonna drag into our keychain. It's gonna ask for a password. And here we're gonna double click on the one that's not trusted yet. It's gonna pop up a trust box for us where we drop that down and always trust. Now, once we do that, it's gonna ask for the password one more time. And if we go back to Chrome and we refresh, you'll see that it gives us an error. Yet another party foul. Are any of you still watching? So let's head back to our project and we're gonna open up under plugins directory, we're gonna open up Axios. So you'll see that Axios has a base URL of HTTP. So let's change that to S. We're also gonna to need to go up to the top here and import HTTPS as, or excuse me, from HTTPS. Then inside the options, we want to add the following. That way it allows our self-signed certificate. So let's save here and it'll build again. We'll go back, we'll refresh, and there we go. Everything looks to be going well. So that's what it takes to get HTTPS working locally for your next project. 
As you can see, the sun's gone down and the party is starting to wind down. Leave a comment below. Let us know if something was missed in this video, something that needs to be changed, or also just say hi and let me know if you like these bite-sized videos. And I want to say a big thank you to all the patrons out there. It's because of you that this party is possible. If you like the video, be sure to share it. And if you're not a patron, feel free to check out all the great perks of joining the party at patreon.com slash webperfparty.